Hey, it's Cook Holler, Chef Kendra here, and today we are making Salisbury steak. For those who don't know, Salisbury steak isn't steak. It's ground beef with some seasonings that's been browned and sauteed in a gravy. It's tender, it's flavorful, and unfortunately, it's usually found in frozen meals, and it's not good that way. So let's do what we do. Let's head into the kitchen and make it happen. We've got our stuff laid out like a new outfit on a Friday night. In this bowl, we're gonna add our seasoning. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Condensed French onion soup. I made this from scratch, but you can certainly just buy this, guys. Our bean egg goes in, just like so. And the last thing we're gonna add is our unseasoned breadcrumbs. Now once we have all our stuff in here, we're gonna mix up everything really well. Now I'm gonna get in here with our nice clean hands and mix it up a little more. Yo, you just can't work with ground beef without getting your hands into it. Now we're gonna score it into four even sections. All we're doing is making an X, so it's really no big deal. You can sort of think of Salisbury steak as a type of stove top meatloaf type deal. Okay, now we're gonna scoop out each section and shape them into the classic Salisbury steak shapes, which are ovals. We're gonna get all four done before we start cooking, guys. Now we're gonna add the rest of our condensed French onion soup, our Worcestershire sauce, water, mustard powder, flour, and ketchup goes in the bowl. We're gonna whisk this up until it's nice and smooth. And we're gonna cook our patties in a large nonstick pot over medium heat. I like to use a pot because it helps prevent splatter. We're gonna brown these boys on both sides and then we're gonna wipe the pot down and add the meat back. Now we're pouring in our gravy mixture all over the patties. Hey guys, the link to this recipe will be in the about section below. So once we've got our gravy poured over, there's nothing left to do but drop the top on this bad boy and let it go for 20 minutes on low. And that's all it is to it. Tell me y'all, what's your absolute favorite comfort food? Leave a comment and let me know. Hey guys, I hope you like that. Be sure to sign up for my free monthly updates. Grab the link to this recipe and hit me up on my social media. And be sure to check out the information to my post office box. All the goodness located in the box section below. Share my videos. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Chef Kendra is out. Peace.